Hi everybody, welcome back to Mediocre Whiskey Review. I'm Jill, your host, and today we're doing an Angel's Every Store Pick. Stick around. All right, everybody. So, today, as I talked about prior, uh, we have an Angel's Every Store Pick from Total Wine that I am so excited about. Um, and I... I feel like I'm out of breath, but like, <laughs> I'm not. I just walked in um, from Fort Wayne. I was up there for a meeting and it's a long drive. You know, it's just over two hours from where I'm at and it's tiring. And like, I walked in the door, I didn't, obviously I didn't change clothes, threw my hair up because well, it was a whole hot mess and my shirt's wrinkled from something in the car. Don't care. Do not care. What I care about is drinking this whiskey. So, um, I think I said it in my last video that I've probably had a sip of an Angel's Every Cask Strength, um, but it was so um, early in the beginning of me really getting into whiskey that I'm sure that it was probably hot because of the proof. Um, the regular Angel's Envy is one of the whiskeys that just literally told me, you're going to drink whiskey. Um, it was so good and like I loved it so much. And I still do, don't get me wrong. And I have the rye, of course, it's delicious. <sighs> Pause for cork, by the way. That was a good one. And I also found it here. Sorry. Um, one of the things I really like about the store picks are these cute little angel wings hanging on the bottle. Um, so we're going to pour this. And again, this one. Let me double check. This one is 101.1 proof. I don't even have my glasses to like look. <clears throat> Pretty sure those are left in the car. Don't know. We'll find out later. Um, so again, I think for the money, I know the cask strength is what, 200 plus. I have a hard time justifying that to myself when you can get basically a cask strength for a hundred bucks in a store pick. Um, which is what I paid for this. It was 99 at Total Wine. Um, and I know store picks are always more, but like it's not $200. Right? So I feel like I'm getting a deal and that's what I tell myself to feel better about it. Um, and what I am going to do, whether it's right or wrong or good or bad, I don't care. I'm going to compare it to a regular Angel's Envy, which I have not opened yet. Aha. Um, so again, Angel's Envy, as far as I'm concerned, is just a like it's a dessert whiskey and um, I just it's so good the rye obviously I feel like is way sweeter <sighs> anyway this is what we're doing so this is this guy oh, I should have left him out there and this is this guy so I'm <clears throat> super excited while I'm sniffing while I'm smelling this darn thing y'all go like and subscribe comment share react I don't know do things, okay? Go do the things. It smells like a beefier Angel's Envy, right? Like it smells like an Angel's Envy on steroids. It's just got that sweet. You can definitely tell the difference in proof on the nose. This one smells it smells so much lighter. I don't know why all of a sudden sometimes I just turn into like a straight hillbilly. But I'm born and raised in Indiana, okay? There's like maple syrup, but like a dark maple syrup. The vanilla wafer. 
Man, it's it's like everything that I pull out of here, which I always call Angel Zippy Maple, like pancakes. Um, that's what I'm getting out of here, just more potent, I guess. Let's taste it. Let's see what she tastes like. The mouthfeel on it is very oily. It's creamy, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, it's the proof came in a little bit. That heat got me on that first sip just a little. Um, but it's sweet. It's it's just sweet. Let me try again. Second sip. So that proof you can definitely get, but there's caramel, vanilla, uh, maple syrup. Like it's it's kind of like, like I call this one pancakes. Well, this one is pancakes with like spicy sausage. I'm just like hot sausage, except like it doesn't taste like pork. So <laughs> that's probably a really bad like description, but it's like spicy pancakes. And this is pancakes. But we're going to taste this one now. Pancakes, spicy pancakes. And by that, like, I don't mean spicy. It's not like peppery. It's, it's proof. It's heat, I'm sure is what I'm getting. Let's wash her out. Try again. Man, like, I would like to think that if somebody poured three different whiskeys for me, and one of them was Angel Zambi, but I didn't know it. I would like to think I could pick it out. We're not going to try that because I don't like to be wrong. But, like, that's how I feel. When, this, when I smell this, it's just familiar. Like, because this is one of the first ones that I tried that really got me hooked um, on whiskey and bourbon. So, I feel like this is, these are my roots here. <laughs> that creamy vanilla mouthfeel, that really dark vanilla. Um, it's so oily that like, it's just the best. It's just the best. And I know like you couldn't compare this to other whiskeys. And I know that because it's so different, but like, it's so good. I, there's not much else I can say about it. And take another sip of this guy. Now that time, I got like a toasted, like a toasted almond. Like it hit the very back of my tongue, the side back of my tongue. And like, I got the vanilla, the caramel, and then that toasted almond. Um, huh. That was very good. And again, I just opened it. I didn't, again, I didn't say that already, but I just opened it so it hasn't had time to open up. So, um, you know, I, I always expect when I first open a whiskey, I expect it to not be great. Um, because there's too many times that I've opened a whiskey and tasted it and I'm like, eh, no, I don't care for that. It's not for me. And then I go back a little while later, like even in the same day, if I just leave it sitting open to get some air, it tastes a thousand times different. So I try not to discount the first few sips of a brand new opened whiskey. That toasted, it's almost like a, it's almost like a burnt vanilla almond. There's an almond, he's hanging out, he's toasting. He might be in the toaster, I'm not sure. But he's toasting and then he gets just a little bit too dark and then he pops up and he falls in vanilla. And that's what that tastes like to me. Um, I am very happy with this purchase. <laughs> As I should be. Um, so we're going to call this guy, he's Angel Zimby. He's the boss, right? Like he's, he's the man in charge here. His spawn over here is like 
Mr. T, Angel Zimmy. Like, he's just beefier, right? Like, he's got a lot of components that this one didn't have. But they're both so delicious. So I'm I'm very I'm very pleased with this guy. Um, and I will all day buy Angels and Restore Picks instead of the cask strength. I would have to have a really good cask strength for me to spend the 200 plus dollars for it. I'd have to try it first. Um, but I can't complain. I cannot complain about this one. And uh, even if I could, well, I wouldn't because I chose to buy it. But if we're scoring him, I'm going to go eight and a half. Uh, I think he still needs to open up. And uh, I'll definitely, you know, <laughs> I'll definitely open him up again uh, in the next couple weeks. But I got so many new bottles that, um, you know, it might be a while before I get back to it. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, sometimes when I'm just after dinner and I'm in the mood for something sweet, like that's typically my go-to. I think this is my... In the last two years, I would say this is my third bottle of Angel's Envy. Um, so, you know, I guess I like it okay. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got for you today. So I'm going to go put my pajamas on and get out of these. And uh, I would say sit down, but I sat all damn day. And I sat all, all in the car on the way home. Obviously, I sat in the car. It's just been a long day, so I'm going to put Jamie's on and get ready to bed. But you guys go do something nice for somebody, and uh, just be good. Just be good people and be good to other people. Uh, you guys uh, take care, and I will see you in a week. Cheers.